If someone ever told you that it was impossible for a language to go extinct, look no further than Oni and Okubo. These two great kingdoms face a monumental problem. Their language is at a high risk of going into oblivion. One may wonder how. Well, it's a very complicated story, but here it goes. The end of the slave trade in Bonny in the 19th century had seen several slaves who were Igbo origin rise to affluence. They had married several wives and had children, and naturally, they spoke their mother tongue, which was Igbo, to their children and their slaves. Jaja of Okubo, who was the head of the Okubo Ani Pepo House in Bonny, was Igbo. Jaja, as we know, is the one man of Igbo origin who has been spoken about widely in the Ebani history. But there were several others who were brought in as slaves who rose to power. E. M. T. Epele was a lecturer in the history department in the University of Nigeria in Suka, and he documented in his book The Trials of King Jaja that by the end of the 19th century, Boni and Opobo were bilingual, some parts speaking Igbo, while some speaking Ibani. The start of the 20th century saw majority Opobo children schooling in places like Aba. This may have been another factor. A major event in the 30s took a big hit on the language. Muatam was brought to Opobo by Chief Eugene McBeppel in 1930. For all its glory, the Muatam carnival helped push the Ibani language further into the abyss due to how large the play became. The Muatam play is an indoky play, so it features several Igbo groups that were borrowed. So these groups clearly feature Igbo songs, gyration, dances and for some group the Igbo attire. In the late 60s, the development that probably woke Opobo up was the Biafran War. When the soldiers came into Opobo to find out that some were speaking Igbo, some people were shot while some drowned in the sea while trying to escape. To add the insult to injury, Opobo was not included in River State but rather with the East after the war. This prompted several influential Opobo people to take action and save the language. Chief Dr. M. C. A. Peterside, the father of Nigerian billionaire Atedo Peterside, was at the forefront of saving the Imani language. He was almost the first set of medical practitioners in River State, the first medical doctor Opobo produced. He was adamant about the Imani language promotion and in 1981, he generously funded the Ereminobo Opobo in their album recording, which featured hit songs such as Afala Gorotubo, Ofiari Egberi, Ungunome, and so on. On his first return from England, he set up an advisory council to meet with the past king Amayanabo Douglas Jaja Jeki the Fourth to convince him to introduce the Ibani language into the primary schools in Opowo. Venerable O. D. C. Brown, a religious figurehead of the Anglican Church, advised Christmas carols in Opowo to be sung in Ibani language. He also made the best efforts to try and print hymns in Ibani language. <laughs> 